Hello, everyone. Welcome to Mizuki and the Carola Arbor. For the operators, Thorns is always useful. Is line holder and the ability to silence enemies is always useful and recommended. For example, J S Y. La Plante Potenko S2 and Texas Alter S1 and the ability to stun the flying enemies is also very useful for example, Click S2 May S2 and Cliff Heart S2 and Texas Alter S3 is the best. The cognitive shipping is very useful. So if you lose in the exploration, don't be frustrated because you are constructing the cognitive shipping. I was using the gathering squad to complete this ending but it's up to you. Every squad has its advantage. For the operators, I started with Chen the Hollandy, a caster, and a healing defender. Okay, here we go. So those are the collectibles I got. The most useful ones are Profound Silence and Fisher's Restraints. So in this squad, Chen the Hollandy is the most important. Then Thorns, here I got a Scouter, but I was using S1. So she was like a multi-target medic. Then Honeyberry is a wandering medic. So Vanguard first. Thorns facing up. A large ring medic facing up. Chain facing up, a defender, a multi target medic, A defender on the right to attract the attacks. Then someone to deal with the left lane. Actually you can deploy your mountain in front of the red box.
when the boss is arriving, start chance skip. So here, the boss could be stunned. Then it will fall onto the ground, so your defenders could block it. Actually, the major stress comes from the right lane. Well, if you have clip hard, you can stun the flying rays, then they will drop into the holes. So just pay attention to your right lane. Congratulations! See you in the next ending. Mission accomplished. Hello everyone, welcome to Mizuki and the Carolina Arbor again. Once you completed the normal ending, you have a chance to explore the second ending. In the encounter of Dilution of Lunacy, you can choose the first or the second choice to let the knight join your squad. Then, the knight will be automatically deployed on the map in every campaign, and the knight cannot be healed like Madrock. So according to Madrock, the operators who can heal the knight are Perfumer because of her talent, and a Bard like Skelter and Sora. The HP of the knight will be recovered in the beginning of the next campaign. So just make sure to keep your knight alive from the first floor to the fourth floor because when you enter the 5th floor, the knight will be gone. Well, in another encounter, the knight persists. You can choose the second choice to reduce the knight's defense. Then, your knight will be super fragile, so you have to protect him very well. But the boss's defense will be reduced by 80%, which will be super useful because the boss's defense is ultra high. Well, this event is optional, it's up to you. And finally, the last stage in the 5th floor will be Fate's Favored Child. So those are my collectibles. I prepared the Knight's Corpus to reduce his defense by 80%, then Rosmonti's Embrace to decrease 30%, and another one to decrease 12%, and some collectibles to increase my DPS. Here I prepared Chen the Holland Day with Meteo to deal the physical damage and Surtur and Eiffela for the art damage because the art damage will be super efficient on the boss. So there are two small flowers on the right. Let's deploy the vanguard on the left.
Chen facing left, Lumen facing down. The boss will frozen the operators who are attacking him. So Lumen E2S3 is helpful to remove the frozen status. The knight shows up. Let's prepare our DPS operators. Sutter facing left. Yafiala facing left. When the knight is attacking the first rock, he is actually on that tile. So now you can start chain skill and the searcher skill. And the lumen skill. When the knight's first form is over, it's time to stop Chen's skill and retreat starter. Then, the knight enters the second form, and nobody can block him. He will rush directly to the blue box. So, don't hesitate to roll your dice if you have it, because this is the final stage. Attention, the knight is not flying actually, so you are able to redeploy Surter to kill him. Then, congratulations, see you guys in the next ending. Hello everyone, welcome to Mizuki and uh, Carola Arbor again. For the third ending, we need super high DPS. So I strongly recommend you to build up your cognitive shaping as much as you can. This is a buff from my cognitive shaping for reference. When you completed the second ending by killing the last knight, then, in the following exploration, you might got this event in an encounter, the beginning. So here, we have to choose the first one, and obtain the collectible Bishop's Research. Then, in the following encounters, you might get this Kerala Animus. So here, we have to choose the last choice, search the garden. Then, after clearing the 5th floor, you will enter the 6th floor. Then, the last stage in the 6th floor is Destiny of We Many. So, here are my collectibles. The most useful ones are Increase the Damage,
increase our damage. and lower down the HP of the enemies. In this stage, we need super high DPS, so I prepared Surter, Posi, and Texas Alter. Here we go. So here will be some shiny tiles, which are Sharmala's tears. So usually we deploy some defenders on it. Otherwise, it will charge the boss Sharmala. When Sharmala is in Skadi's form, she is healing the enemies. When Sharmala is in the dragon form, her attacking range is super large. So we have to kill it as soon as possible with our super high DPS. The boss will go to the right part first, then go to the left part. So I deployed my operators on the left. Here, I use my Posey, Surter, and Texas Alter to evaporate the boss as fast as I can. Then congratulations! So attention, there are two blue boxes. So after killing the boss, you have to deploy your operators on the left and on the right. So for this stage, we need high DPS operators, especially the heli drops like Pazi, Surter, Afiala. Maliner, Near the Radiant Knight, Silver Ash, Skadi, and you can even deploy Ifrit on the tile where I deploy Posi. Then congratulations!
Mission accomplished.